Hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? This is Lewis Jones with YouLearnMusic.com. I just wanted to share with you something today. Uh, we're going to take a look at a song called Viva La France. We're not going to play the song, but we're going to just kind of look at the music. It's very important. Before you start playing anything, always take a look at the music because you got to get some information first. So the first thing you want to do is you want to look in the first measure of a song here. So the first measure is always full of information. All right, number one, here's a one sharp in the key signature here. What that means is that anytime you see an F, it's not an actual F. It's actually going to be an F sharp, which means you're going to play the black key. All right, next thing, three, four, three, four time signature. That means that there are three beats in each measure. So in this particular song, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Three. All right. Um, another thing here at the top, it's telling you how fast to play the song. So this is 108 beats per minute, all the way up to 120 beats per minute. Um, you know, if you have a metronome, you can you can use that. Yeah, you should be able to, if you don't have a metronome, uh, you can get one on your phone, a free metronome on your phone. And if you set it at 108 beats per minute. That'll give you an idea of how fast a song is. All right. Next thing. Uh, dynamics. Dynamics is how fast or how, I'm sorry, how loud or how soft you play a song. Here, this F stands for forte. Forte means you're going to play the song loud. All right. And then this is not always the case, but in this particular song, you have these numbers that are above and below the notes here. That is your finger numbers. That is your finger number. So in this case, you're gonna put your pinky on a G for your right hand, and your left hand, uh, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna put a pinky on a G, okay? All right, now if we move further, we got measure one, measure two, and here we are at measure three. This little line right here is called a slur. What it's telling you is that when you play these notes here, you want to play these notes without a break in the music. So it probably so instead of playing like this, you want to play it like this. Hear the hear the difference? No break in the music. All right. And then we have this right here. Uh, that's telling you to gradually get um, softer. Uh, so in music, we call that decrescendo or diminuendo. It means to gradually get softer. So it starts out forte here. Um, so just a, just a little softer. So it means gradually get softer. All right, and then we're going to come down here. Another dynamic here, how loud or how soft we play. MF, it's not what you think. It means moderately loud or medium loud. So it's not as loud as forte here. It's a little louder. Keep going. Measure five, six, seven. You got another diminuendo or decrescendo mark. And then finally, P. P stands for piano. Piano means to play soft. So in this particular song, you're going to start out loud forte. And you're going to end up soft in this last measure. So I'm going to do a few... Uh, I'm going to analyze a few pieces like this. What you're going to notice, it's like driving a car. When you're driving a car, you see a stop sign. You see a bunch of signs. You see the same signs over and over again. They all mean the same thing. No different in music. In music, you see the same thing over and over again, and it means the same thing. So we're going to look at some other pieces. All right. Enjoy your day.